Welcome to 333 Kalahana Place. This sits in the back of Palolo Valley. Lush, beautiful, green Palolo Valley. Nice, cool trade winds. What we're sitting on is a large lot. This is 7562 square foot. Over 7,500 square foot of land here, right in Palolo Valley. The best part about all this is it's R5 zoned. R5 zone and over 7,500 square feet. Many of you know what that could potentially mean uh, regarding investors or developers. So come on in, we're gonna walk the property first and we're gonna go take a look. Let me just show you how big this lot is. Right here you've got a three car parking. You could probably fit four cars this way, fit two more that way. You could potentially have six cars currently on the lot without doing anything. We'll take you under the house. There's tons of storage space down here. Uh, there's also another one bedroom, one bath down here that could be developed into something really nice. Great in-law suite or maybe a nice rental should somebody want to keep the property, uh, keep the house. The, the property is just massive. 75, 62 square foot. Orchids down below, so we know that it's it's very fertile uh, areas to grow things in. What we do know is that there is a sewer easement that runs from down here in the corner between the two walls. There, if you can take a look at the size of this lot, it encompasses three different parcels. The entire length of this parcel equates to the width of three different parcels adjacent to us. It's huge. There's tons of potential on this property. It's just imaginable. So the, the sewer easement runs between the two walls, comes right down right about here. It's a six foot easement, which means you can't build on it. So there's still tons of space to build on. Let's go hop downstairs and take a look here. There used to be an orchid farm down here. And she just loved it. You know, there's very little uh, of anything behind you. So it's kind of like it's really private back here. As you can already hear, there are chickens. This is Palolo Valley. There's tons of chickens out here. Um, and uh, let me show you how big this lot is. As we turn the camera around, we're in the very back portion. See where that white car is way up there? That's where the road is. So if you can imagine how spacious this property is, over 7,500 square feet. Again, three parcels intersect our parcel. That's how long it is. So let's go ahead and take a look up there. I mean, you could build a whole other structure down here in this portion. Let's walk around the house and we'll go inside. Yeah, Palola Valley was built a long time ago. This home is originally built in 1946, and it was renovated over the years by the family that owned it. And they did a fabulous job kind of keep it up, up to date. Look at these beautiful plumerias. Wow, it's gorgeous, right? Hmm, beautiful. Can you smell that? I know you can hear that. Can you smell this? Mmm, smells good. I'm gonna take that for Julie. All right, let's keep walking around the house. You'll we'll walk through the entire perimeter. Take a look at the length of this. Going all the way back to the far corner wall. You see that little pot on there? That's the corner end. And when you take it all the way up to the front, you'll see the fence up there. Lots of space. What they did over the years is they changed out the copper plumbing. So you got copper plumbing here. They also changed the electrical system. So they have a new meter and I'll show you where that is. The roof is about 10 years old, is what we're told. They had regular uh, um, termite treatment over the years. We don't know when the last one was. The last one that we could recordedly find was 2008 that it was tented. This is your new electric meter, new earth. I believe uh, this was in the early 2000s, so we're done, right? So come on in, let's go take a look at the house.
as you can imagine, older family live here. You know, it's gonna need a little bit of work, right? But it's got great bones. Take a look at this. How do you like this door with the windows? Beautiful, right? Original knobs. Come on in. This is a, just a very comfortable family living room. You know, if you look at the size of this, very generous size. Imagine having a family over and kind of enjoying yourself here. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, walk through the bedrooms. There are five bedrooms in this home. Five bedrooms, two baths. So this is bedroom number one. It sits on the north side of the house, so it's cool, right? You've got great windows that they uh, changed out a number of years ago, and a little cute closet here. And then we'll go into the bathroom. The bathroom is also really cute. Um, has all your functions as, as you can imagine. Nice walk-in shower. Bedroom number two sits on this side. You know, if you were high enough, if you could build 25 feet from the grade, it looks to be like you'll get an ocean view. So from here, you can't quite see it, but if you were high enough, you could potentially see it. What's really good is in the back side, you really don't have any neighbors per se. Right. Bedroom number three is right here. And they all have cute closets. What somebody might want to do is combine the two bedrooms and make one master suite back here. That's another great opportunity for someone to uh, bring their custom ideas. Now this little space, you're wondering, what is this? It's a, currently, it's a sitting room. It used to be the original kitchen. See, the house actually ended here a number of years ago, and they got a permit to extend it all the way that way. And so um, this was the original kitchen. Now it's a really nice, cool sitting room. If you could feel the trade winds comes right through the mountains, it's, it's really nice. All right. This could be a pantry right here. Tons of storage space, right? Come out through the door and drop your things off. The kitchen is extremely generous sized for today's world. You could have a, an island in the middle, you could move all of this and replace it all, and you've just got a nice backyard view. Okay. And now let's take you into bedroom number four on this first level. A little bit larger than the others. It's got a number of spaces for closets. Cool breeze that transfers through here. Yeah, this definitely could be quite nice. Right, quite nice. Now let's take a look at what's the bonus space downstairs. Downstairs is another huge storage area. Uh, another bathroom and another bedroom. And your laundry room sits here. Again, completely enclosed. You're not going to get wet outside. You've got your washer and dryer here. And uh, what would take you into the bathroom? Interestingly enough, there's two showers. There's a shower and a tub. Or two showers, you could somebody could do something really nice with this space. Imagine redesigning this and having just the most amazing bathroom down here, which would be really cool. You've got a large storage space underneath here um, with a water heater. This could be enclosed as well as another opportunity. And then bedroom number five sits down here. So as you can imagine, there's four steps in from the carport. You know, grandma and grandpa could stay down here. It's nice and cool. The bottom portion is hollow tile. It's just a lot of space. And then right to the right here, underneath the house is the storage space. It's a workshop. It's great for those sports enthusiasts with toys and, and gear and baseball equipment and whatever you have to store, you can stand up in this thing, it's huge. That's one of the beautiful things about this home is that you've got a lot of storage space. 
right? So whether you want to build, you want to you want to renovate, this is an amazing opportunity. It's listed at seven ninety nine. This home was appraised just recently at eight seventy five. So many people would see that as a very good value. I believe we have already have some interest in it already. So let us know. Bring your best offer. Uh, this one's going to go quick. Again, this is 333 Kalhana Place. Kalhana Place is a short dead end road with uh, eight different homes on it. And that's a really nice, quiet neighborhood. So let us know if you have any questions. If you have any, uh, if you want to submit an offer, please do. And we look forward to serving you soon. Thanks so much. Aloha.